Om Om Namaste. Welcome to today's yoga session. Now take a comfortable seat and gently soft gaze, or close your eyes. Let your sit bones be contacted to the mat, or a cushion. Relax your thighs and knees. Make your palms facing up to the ceiling. This will facilitate your shoulder opening and chest opening. And slightly tuck your chin, so your back of the neck is aligned with your spine. Now take a deep inhale from the belly, all the way to the chest, to the collarbone. And exhale. Open your mouth. <sighs> Do that three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Open your mouth. <sighs> inhale through the nose. Exhale. Open the mouth. One more time. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Now return to your normal breathing without any control. Sense your body's every single cell. Gently relax your eyebrows. Maybe a slight smile on your face. Today, we will focus on our vision. That means how do we control or use our eyes for our benefit, health benefit. So as you gently close your eyes, the muscles around your eyes are relaxed. So take this opportunity to let your eyes have a rest. As most of our waking time, our eyes are focused, looking at something. Hardly we are looking at anything further than two meters, but two. Help our eyesight. If we can relax our eyes by soft, soften our gaze, or looking at things far in distance, then the muscles that controls the actual lenses in our eyes, that controls the eyeballs, they can relax. So even though. When you think it's hard to meditate, but when you close your eyes or soft gaze, you're already helping yourself for this relaxation and a cup of Zen for your eyesight or your vision. For people who already have good eyesight. They can maintain good eyesight. For people who have problems with eyesight, 
especially people who wear glasses, by using the vision exercise, you can actually reverse the myopia. Myopia is near sight. Just like every other muscles in our body, we can stretch, we can tense. So those are the exercises for the muscles around our eyes. So now just visualize, imagine your eyeballs are in these eye sockets, and they are. And our eyes are actually, they have lots of neurons, so they're actually part of the brain. They are the only organ that represents brain, but externally. So take very good care of your eyes as if and they are part of your brain. Close your eyes or looking in distance is one way of protecting your vision and protecting your brain. Now take three breaths, each breath Inhale all that care and love into your eyes. Just send the love and care and kindness to your eyes. And exhale, let go of that tense and stress from your eyes out to the world. And now let's do that together three times. Inhale. All that relaxation, peace, love to your eyes. And exhale, release the tension, the stress from your eyes out. Inhale. Send love care to your eyes. And exhale, release the tension and stress from your eyes. One more time. Inhale. All that kindness to your eyes. And exhale, release the tension, stress, and tell your eyes, it's okay, I'm going to take care of you. Now just observe the calmness. Nothing to do for your eyes. Just be here and relax. No information to process. It's like sleeping for the eyes and the meditation for the eyes. Now gently put palms together and then rub your palms against each other. Rub, rub, rub to create some heat in your palms. And then cover the heated palms over your eyes. Just cover it very gently without pressing too much into your eyelids. Let the love and kindness from your palms centers Directly go into your eyes, eye sockets. And now rub your palms again. Cover your eyes again. And let your eyes feel that gentleness, kindness from your palms. Now open and close, open and close, very gently. Now open your eyes, gently slide your palms away, but with this unfocused eyesight, just you see everything in the distance. So you're not just focusing on the palms and then gently let your palms down to your knees. And softly 
look at in distance, not focusing anywhere. Just soft gaze. All right. Now we're going to do some eye exercise. So now this exercise will be using our eye vision to focus. So we'll use the right thumb as a guide. So use your right thumb up and look at your right thumbnail. And now we will go from the middle to the right without turning the head, only moving your eyes with the thumbnail. Go as far as you can see until you feel a string of the eyes and then come back to center. So the key is not to turn your head. So look at the thumbnail, just look at the thumbnail and move your hand over to the right. So you may not be able to move your right hand all the way to parallel to the shoulder. And this is for your muscle training around your eyes. So do that five times, coming back to center and then move your thumb to the right. And then next time when your thumb to the right, stay there and only looking with your eyes. So we are using the muscles that hands the eyeballs and also focus and uh, stretch our lenses. Now release your right hand to the, to the thigh. Now raise your left thumb, left fist, stick your right left thumb up. And now we go from the center to the left. So the left fist move to the left until you cannot see much focus on the left thumb and then come back to center. So keep your both eyes focus on the left thumbnail, only the thumbnail, nowhere else. So this is a very focused division. So we do five rounds. Without turning head, very good. Last time when we have the left thumb to the left, stay there. And really just focus on how your eyes look at the left thumb. If it's too left, you cannot see the left thumbnail, move back a little bit to the towards center. So to me, it's about 45 degrees. If it's over to the left too much, I can't really actually focus on the thumbnail. So that's where the focus is. And now move back to center and re release your left palm. Now close your eyes for a moment. Now open your eyes. Now get your right fist in front of you. The right thumb is coming up. Now we'll do the circle. So in this circle, you will only look at the right thumbnail without turning your head. So draw the circle clockwise first. We do five circles and look at the right thumbnail with your both eyes. So you are actually moving your eyeballs only. Three. Four, five, now draw the circle, uh, reverse one, two, draw as slow as you can so that you are using the muscles very gentle, not in sharp, very sharp and uh, quick stretch, but it's slow. So your muscle has time to respond. Three, 
three, four, and last circle on the right side. And now put the right thumb to the upper right. So the upper right will be your two o'clock. And now look at your right thumbnail, upper right. And then the four o'clock, lower right. Only using your eyes to look at the right thumbnail, lower right. Now close your eyes, release your right palm to the right thigh. Now open your eyes. Now lift your left hand, your left wrist, left thumb up. Now we draw the circles counterclockwise. So just looking at your left thumbnail and draw the circles very, very slow and focus on your left thumbnail. If you have nail paint, then appreciate it. <laughs> If you have beautiful nail, appreciate it. It's the best time. It looks very boring, but it's such a good exercise for your eyes. And one more circle counterclockwise. If you finish reverse the direction, focus on the left thumbnail. Because we're generally looking at things right in front of our face, our eyes almost never move more than a few degrees. And sometimes we can also tur turn our head to compensate the direction we're looking at. So the muscles in our eyes, hanging our eyeballs in the sockets, rarely get exercise. And over time, just like everything else, they will become less flexible. And that's because our human body has magnificent adaptivity. Last circle. And now when your left thumbnail go to the left upper corner, which is about 10 o'clock, then look at the left thumbnail with your both eyes without turning your head. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now put your left thumb to the lower left corner which is about seven or eight o'clock. Look at your left thumbnail. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now release your left hand, close your eyes. Relax your eyeballs. Now open your eyes, we'll do the up and down. So use your right fist, right thumb again. And we'll do go from down to up, down to up, only using the eyes. So look at your right thumb low, on the lower side. So don't string your eyes too much. So this is exercise to practice the muscles, but don't string it. So we're using the movement from down to up, up to down, down to up, up to down, down to up, up to down, down to up, up to down. Last time, down to up. Now stay up. Now look at your thumbnail, the 12 o'clock. So 
Don't take it too far so that you feel the strain of the muscles. You can still focus on your right thumbnail without too much strain. And now lower down your right wrist, uh, right hand. So right thumbnail is at six o'clock. So without dipping your head, only look at your right thumbnail. Very good. Now close your eyes, release your right hand back to the thigh. All right, open your eyes. So that's a little bit of our um, eye muscle exercise. So yoga is for every single muscle in your body. It can exercise the muscles hang your eyes. Uh, when you get flexible um, eye muscles, then your vision, actually, even if you need the corrective lenses, it can actually benefit and um, get rid of your correct lenses. So we have cases like that. All right, so next we'll do the head movement. So just turn your head to the right and the left. Relax your shoulders. Now, as you turn your head to the left and the right, you can also use your eyeballs. When you turn to the right, and then your eyes will go to the right toward the back. And then when your head go to the left, you turn your eye to the left back. But look at the more distant, it's not focusing on one point, but just the movement is for the muscles. The reason is the focused lens and the unfocused lens, which is called panoramic view, they actually activate different nervous system. Now, next time when you turn your head to the right, keep your eyesight to the back toward the right without much strain. And inhale, keep your crown to the sky. And now close your eyes, come back to center just for a moment. And now turn your head to the left, open your eyes, look toward the left back. And then close your eyes, come back to center. Rest your eyes. So when your eyes are in focused mode, when looking at something close to you, then your sympathetic nervous system is activated, which is in the alert state, more stress state. But when you have your parent, parent panoramic version, vision, panoramic version, vision, <laughs> I can't say that, <laughs> which is soft gaze or looking at things in distance, then your parasympathetic nervous system is activated. So generally, when you look at sunset or in the horizon or look at the mountains, you feel the feeling of calmness. And that is a reason because your parasympathetic nervous system is actually activated. Now open your eyes. So this is a little learning that I learned from neuroscientist, uh, Dr. Andrew Huberman about vision and how to practice and exercise for our eye vision health. Thank you all for practicing with me today. Your presence is golden. Thank you so much. Namaste.